All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Shoebird here once again, playing some Fable Anniversary Edition. Uh, as I last left off, we were sitting here in Knothole Glade. I defeated the White Balverine. We bought this house, which I have now... Well, sorry, guy, I didn't realize you were wiping your face. I bought this house, uh, which I have now rented out. And I'm going to be doing a few little things here and there. Wow, my frame rate is not doing so great. I had an error earlier today. Something about pure virtual memory or something like that. And the game crashed. But uh, I'm going to explore Knothole Glade here for a little bit. Hopefully the game will be okay for me. And not do any of that. And then we can head on out to do like... Uh, I got a trader rescue, I think, is one of the missions we could do. Or, um, I'm just seeing right now. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm seeing right now if there's places I can dig up or treasure chests or some things around here. Uh, we can do, like, the Hob Cave. Or we can do, like, a trader rescue. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! And we'll be good to go. As you can see, there's a lot to explore around here. There's a barrel back there, but I can't get to it. Yeah, I can't get to it. All right. We will not try to crush the man's barrel. Instead, we'll just keep exploring around. There's all these pillars here. It's kind of totem pole-esque type things. I don't know. I can't really get to them right the offhand. Is obviously due. Respect is obviously due. Okay. I, I didn't hear exactly what he was saying at first. As you can see, I also mixed up my outfit just a little bit to try to be... Partially to try to be goofy, but also because I wanted to maximize... Yeah, you ain't never met one before. I also wanted to maximize my damage... Or not damage. Uh, well, damage resistance... I wanted to maximize my armor rating, so therefore I put on uh, chainmail boots, chainmail gloves, chainmail pants, I think I got on here too. Oh, no, nothing up there. And then I also stuck on the bandit hat because that is the only hat that I have. Stay within the law. You stay within the law. Anyways, sick and tired of these people telling me what to do. A ruby. We got a ruby. Uh, some of these gems, these gifts, these things, I can sell them for quite a bit of money each, like 500, 600 gold, something like that. Or if I wanted to, I could go ahead and uh, give them to, uh, I don't know, a man or a woman, you know, I could pick one or the other. So one thing that I, again, I enjoy about this game is it gives you that option. You're not stuck solely with the idea that you have to be straight. It's kind of cool. Kind of interesting. Especially, I mean, I don't think of like 2004 as being that long ago. But sometimes you'll hear things like, well, that was 20 years ago. And you're like, wow, that was almost 20 years ago. That's crazy. And it's like thinking about it, you know, watching an episode of a TV show from that time, the jokes that they might make, and then a game like this is actually trying to be inclusive of, you know, the, at least the, the, um, um, I was going to say LGBTQ community, but they're at least trying to be inclusive to the, the gay community because your main character is a guy and you, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Let's just say I support it. I support the LGBTQ community, and I'm going to try to figure out how this demon door works. If you can hurt my face with an arrow, I'll crack wide open for you. I could have swore I turned off subtitles, but apparently not. Let's stand back here real quick and see if we can't crack his face with an arrow. Well... There we go. Call that strength? I've seen tougher ducklings. 
All right, apparently I don't have enough physical strength for that, so I probably will have to hit up the guild and try to, you know, uh, increase my uh, physique and everything else. Let's go ahead and take a look. Any ripples? Any ripples? Ripples? Nope, no ripples. No fishing expeditions for us in this episode. We did a couple of them in the last episode. Oh, I did miss something, though. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, no, not there. Right here. There we go. There's this long, narrow pathway and a nice little treasure chest up here. And an emerald. We'll pick that up. Gosh, I wish I could get rid of the heads-up display and take some really good screenshots because there are certain aspects of this game that do look pretty nice, you know? But unfortunately, we're stuck with this very messed up camera and it gets annoying as hell. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to go through there. I just want to go to the Heroes Guild, so yeah, we'll do that. Now at the Heroes Guild, I got the option for a couple of different things. First things first, I can get uh, the arena. I can pick up that quest. And Trader Massacre is going to sit there forever. I'm not going to pick that one up but I can also go in here and I think I can upgrade physique I can upgrade physique more than once uh, we'll just keep leveling things up all the same well no I could upgrade no wait yeah yeah so I can upgrade my health and my toughness further than my physique okay well Keep doing it that way. It's for speed uh, or accuracy or guile. I don't want to upgrade my accuracy. I really don't care. But for speed, I can upgrade a couple times there. It seems that'll be pretty dang helpful. And then, of course, once again, magic. I want to leave completely untouched. As far as that goes, as a motorcycle goes past my house, and hopefully my new microphone doesn't pick that up, Chicken like my old one, some. that Samson Q2U, chickens. man, that was, that dang thing is great Can we at, you uh, in absolutely anything? yeah, whatever, I'm pleased to serve that you. Samson Q2U for a $50, whatever it is right now, microphone, that thing is amazing at cutting out background noise. Right now I'm using the Shure SM7B, which is also well-renowned and, you know, pretty well-known as being great for... Uh, blocking out background noise, which is why I got it. But I, I don't know actually yet. I haven't done enough testing. I don't know which one will do better. I'm going to sell all three of those. I'm going to sell him. I can't sell him the Willmaster Elixir. Okay. I can sell him a couple resurrection files because once again, if you get to nine. That's it. You're done. You don't get any more. Like, you still pick them up out of treasure chests and stuff, and essentially they disappear. So, I figure I'll do that, and then at some point in time here, I gotta come across, like... Okay, I can't seem to can't... It seem to can't not be able to sell him any of those kinds of items, so... That's unfortunate. I'm going to buy some chocolates, though. Boy, stop being so annoying, you so I'm buying stuff from you. How is that annoying, you I'm pleased jerk? to serve you. You're pleased to serve me, and I start buying stuff from you, and then you're, like, telling me I'm annoying. What a joke. All right. Anyways. Apparently, we get all sorts of, like, items that we can buy here that you can't really buy anywhere. For some reason, I can buy the Guildmaster's spare shirt. That's not exactly what I was looking for. for so, 
something about me being nominated for the arena. Let's see what the Guildmaster has to say this time. It'll be a fight to the death in the arena. It'll be a fight to the death in the arena. That's it? That's all you have to say to me? After all these years, you can't train me any better than that. What a joke. What can I do you for? If I wanted to, again, I'll point this out. I could change my name over there. However, I don't right now. Uh, I think I did boast for the Hob Cave and the Trader Rescue, so I'll do a boast for the uh, arena. I'm going to do it naked. Um, I'm not going to kill all that I face. And I'm not going to do that one either. The only thing is... I don't understand how to do this one. Have mercy on as many foes as possible. Like, would I just not kill them myself and instead try to get them caught on traps and stuff or what? And I don't want this one because I know some little twist ending happens that I also don't want. So we're going to go ahead and do this hob cave. I think I can head on off to... He done well. Oh, I forget where it is. Hob Cave. Where's the Hob Cave? Is there another... Oh, no, that's the shopkeeper. I was going to say, is there another trader behind me? Because that would be ridiculous. I just did the trader rescue. Or not rescue. You know what I mean. I meant to say I just did the trader escort in the last episode. No. Her. Focus her. Let's go. Bam. Nope. See, that didn't do any damage to her. That did, though. Oh, you spitting a vine at me, huh? Nice try. Let's go. Boom. You're done. Give me that XP. Oh, yeah. And once again, I'll point out that that is where I don't understand how I could have ever played a bad character because killing this bandit... That's plus two. Killing that bandit, plus two. I think the fairy back there was like a plus three or two. Um, it's like... Killing the enemies nets you... Uh, positive uh, alignment. So... When you're playing, trying to play as a bad character, you gotta do a lot of bad stuff to everyday people, like villagers and stuff. You know, stealing and murdering and all that just to make up for the fact that you will still have to do this stuff on most missions. I don't know. I'm not the one that made the game. I just play it. Don't hate the player, baby. Hate the game. Hate the game. Here we go again. Uh-oh. Troll. Rock troll. I wonder if I can get this uh, chest open next. No! Don't focus him. Focus the troll. Eat that piece of meat. Fight the troll. Nice try, troll. Let's go. Bash. Hell yeah. Now back away because I know the rock troll. I don't think the, the earth troll does it, but the rock the troll... Uh, like collapses on you and hurts you and it's really frustrating all right we got an elixir of life on that Hope one well, sir hi <laughs> hi what you got oh, you, think we can do a you want to trade oh you got sir. tattoo stuff again can I do anything that is gonna make me look pretty I already got the griffin tattoo does the griffin and the crindon both go on the chest yeah dang it what about that their fire monkey tattoo that I thought looked silly, but makes me attractive as hell? That goes on my back. I'll take that. Yeah, the arena is the place for you. I'll just go away. Just one hit wonders here. It's all it takes to defeat you guys. I love it. Love it. All that XP just for hitting you once. Okay, here, soldier. Soldier. Bandit. Nice pickaxe, though. Look at that pickaxe. Looks fancy. You can stop hitting me in the back now any day. That'd be great. Oh, yeah? You, you gonna taunt me, buddy? You gonna taunt me? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Let's taunt. Let's taunt. Come on. Where's that taunt now? Oh, there it is. You're dead. You're a dead man. You are so dead. There you go. Good job. Good job. Way to taunt me. Right in the middle of everything. Like, this is the WWE, you know, and it's just fake, and I'm not actually hitting you and killing you. All right. And again, we get a nice relaxing jaunt through Great Wood Gorge. I could probably take a little breather and fish. No, I can't fish right there. Where can I fish? thought I could fish here somewhere. You can hear the water down below, and off of some bridges like that, you can fish, but apparently not here. And no enemies respawn, so this is boring as hell. But I gotta get through it because the next spot is where we need to be. There we go. Wait, what? Oh no, the next spot is where we need to be. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, next spot. Uh, let's just go. I'm going to go to the right towards Rose's Cottage. Yeah, Rose Cottage, not Rose's. All right, Rose Cottage. Speak to the grandmother at Rose Cottage in Greatwood. 5,500 gold, 400 renown. Uh, let's do it. The reason I bought the chocolates is because you have this wonderful demon door right here. And we can walk up to him or her. I never open on a first date. My heart has been broken too many times before. I can only let someone who really loved me through. Someone who really loved you. All right, let's do it. Uh, we're going to go with items and gifts. And we got some chocolates. So we're going to give you a chocolate. Oh, you really know how to treat a door. I will always be open to you. You've made me so happy. I can feel pebbles welling up in my eyes. <laughs> oh, it's so simple, but so silly, and I love it. Okay, the demon door opens up. We got three out of the 12 demon doors open. I think that's what that thing that popped up on the side means. What the fuck is this? Some sort of like a a weird sex chamber. <gasps> it's like half dungeon, half sex chamber. Is this like your little BDSM land? Or what is it? Will users bright gloves? Will users bright boots? Will bright upper robe? I love how this one doesn't say will users. Will bright lower robe. Wait, did the other one say will users or was I just in, in, adding that in? But either way, I'm still like, wow. Wow. Wow, this is like your sex palace up in here. But for some reason there's a bunch of like magic I don't understand what's going on here. I just, I'm going to eat this apple and then I'm going to get the hell out of here because this is weird. My guy doesn't know what to do. He's still a virgin. He doesn't understand. He's like, what's that? Is that where like, you like, bash your faces together? James, is what? that you? Oh, James is my grandson. You have to find him. He's the only relative I have left. Such a sweet, helpful boy. I don't know how I'd manage without him. I knew this would happen. He's gone back to those caves. I just know. He got quite a scare for the things he saw down there last time. I can tell you. But he did bring back some gold. Oh, and he found something else while he was there. I don't know what it's for, but it might be useful. Here. He brought back a hexagon key. What's the info on it? A hexagonal shaped key. Please oh, that's cool. Please find him. I don't know what I would do if anything happened to him. 
Like, is that... Is that your weird little sex dungeon over there? Because that's even weirder now. Worried about your grandson, but you got a sex dungeon right next door. I think I'm going to have to call the authorities. And uh, get some things figured out. We got 500 gold out of that. Nice little treasure chest. Oh, look at this. This is what I was talking about. So you get these circles sometimes on the ground where it's like you can walk over it and you realize, oh, hey, there's something there. Look at that. What do I get? A silver key? We got nine out of 30. And we can probably start unlocking some things here and there. Just need one more and we get access to a lot more of the silver key chests around the maps. And I think that's about it here at Rose Cottage. So we'll head out. Great Wood Cullis Gate. Here we come again. And here we go again. I already fished out the moonfish that was in there. And we're on our way. So this is the quest that gets really tricky. Uh, if you're trying to fight it the way I am. Uh, if you're trying not to use any magic whatsoever. To unlock this demon door. Here, I'll let him explain it. I need to see your combat multiplier get higher before I swing a jar. To unlock this demon door, your, com your uh, combat multiplier needs to be 14 or higher. And in order to do so, the last time I did this, I used a spell that shields you. However, this time, <laughs> because I'm a hero... I don't want to be using spells. I just want to be a straight up, uh, what it, I forget what it says in the intro of the game, but I just want to be a straight up knight. Which makes it a little bit more difficult because you come down here into these caves, you fight these guys. If you take damage, then your combat multiplier goes down. I'm trapped in here! So you'll see. I'll, I mean, I'll fight them. There's my combat multiplier popping up in the left. I take a little bit of damage. My multiplier goes down a little bit. There it went down to five. If you go through a doorway, it also goes down again. So there's like ways you can do it with spells and stuff to make sure that your multiplier stays high. However, I don't want to use spells. I just want to be a complete badass warrior. Maybe someday, like on a stream or something, I'll try to be a mage. But that's hard to do, too. Oh, that's even worse than trying to be a straight warrior. Trying to be a mage. The easiest thing is to mix the two, of course. But then you get called, like, you know, I forget what it is. You get called something like Spell Warrior or something. It's like, I don't want to be known as a Spell Warrior. Just call me something else. Is that all of them? Did, oh, no. What are you doing here, buddy? Fine, I'll turn my lamp on so I can Thanks, see. Mate. It was rather embarrassing getting caught by those orbs. Me and the lads were searching the caves for treasure. Legends say it's full of their stuff. Well protected, too. They caught us and stuck us in cages. Been taking us away one by one ever since. I don't know what they did to the rest, but I heard screams that'd chill your blood. But hey, less people, bigger share, right? <laughs> so. What you say we go looking together? What you say we go looking together? All right. You know what? Couldn't hurt to have another sword with me, so I'm going to say yes. Can't we go faster? These caves are filled with hobs. No shit, they're filled with hobs. That's why they're called the Hob Caves. Duh. So my overall goal is to defeat all these hobs on my way back out. Because they will respawn on like that one map. Or that one area that I was talking about. So defeat all these hobs on my way back out. Hopefully have my... Uh... Jeez, I gotta, I gotta learn to avoid to not get hit when I'm doing it this way though. Um, hopefully... It's so hard because they surround you, you know? 
because you're busy fighting one and then another one comes and surrounds you. Uh, but I need to defeat these guys and have my uh, combat multiplier be higher than 14 by the time I reach that demon door. And again, pay attention here once I defeat these guys and go through the next doorway. Oh yeah? And you bandits don't? Because when you go through a doorway, you'll see I'm at 19. And now I'm down to 10. It drops you down to a certain level. Probably the hardest thing is to rush around and kill these guys first. Because they suck. I hate them the most. Can I not roll forward? Apparently not. Okay. This is going to be tough. I might have to... I might have to break down and get that spell going. I don't want to, but I might have to. Because I know it'll make my life easier in this game overall. I can carry the gold for now. Yep, there's 500 gold right there. And what's in it over here? Don't forget some of that's mine. Shut up. You'll get your gold. Stop whining. Another 500 gold and some flame augmentation. I like that idea as well. I don't know off the top of my head what is uh, damaged by flame. I'm assuming maybe Hobbs themselves are, and that's why they're hoarding it, so nobody can use it against them. What'd you say? That must be where they took my mates. Maybe. Come on. I... We've what got is the this area? Shut up. What is this area? Just one little hallway. That's it for the map. Why? Why? Why do that? Uh oh. Got ourselves another mythical clitoris down here at the bottom. I don't know what that's all about. We're down to two. Oh. What do you want? You wish to uh -oh. take the child. I will not give him up. The sacrifice must proceed. Provide an alternative human and I may release him. Should I replace him with the follower? No. Go then, before I take you as well. I didn't want to do it. She made me. I sure hope that doesn't count as nudity, because, you know, <laughs> it doesn't look like nudity to me, but it could be construed that way to somebody. No. All right, time to bash and battle, and hopefully have some some sort of uh, decent sized. Uh, what should I say? Some sort of decent sized uh, uh, combat multiplier. When I get out of here, anytime you hear that downward sound, that's that's me getting the combat multiplier kicked out of me. This is going to be tough. This is going to be so tough. Like, I should I should almost do mouse and keyboard, but I'm doing Steam Controller, which makes it even worse. Damn it, I'm down to 10 again. All right, hold on. Hold on. Um, first of all, let's see. What's one that I can use here? Age of Skill Potion. I don't know exactly what that means, but I wanted to try it. So we'll see what ends up happening. Oh, you did not, you son of a... Yeah, yeah, I'll get you out in a second here, you little kid. Where's the last one? All right. Get out of the way, dick nuts.
I saw a circle. Where's the circle? There it is. No, shovel. That's what I wanted. I know, my... Another silver key. All right, we got ten. Nothing else around? No? Nothing at all. Okay, well... Damn it. My combat multiplier is down to six. Five, four, three, two, one. It's probably going to be at zero by the time we get the hell out of here. Because I decided to run around and explore. But, uh, you know. It may be an issue where I have to break down. Give up on my hopes and dreams of being a straight warrior. And instead I'll have to be like a spell, spell warrior or something. Yeah, you get bashed into that rock there, guy. Uh oh That's a lot of them. Bash, 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 bash. Just button mashing left and right and center. Trying to turn anytime I see them about to hit me. Alright, we're at 14. No! What the hell? I heard a whole bunch pop up behind me there, but I totally messed it up and hit the doorway anyways. Uh-oh, there's a lot. No! I really hate that the run and the flutter button are the same thing. It makes me use it. Oh, no. This is going to take... Yep, I'm going to have to try this again. I'm just not good enough. Although, that means I can't do the quest naked either. Dang it. Uh, this is gonna suck. I know, I know. I could be fighting this a lot better than I am. But I'm just not that great. So I'm just trying to, like, cycle around to avoid the hits as much as I can. Try to go from person to per- or hob to hob, I should say. Making sure I pick up the XP at the same time because I don't want to lose all the chances on the XP. Getting hit in the back. Come on now. What the heck is happening? I am at 23, though. I'm pretty happy about that. It's just a matter of how high it's going to be once I get out of these caves. That's going to be the question. What are you up to over here there, buddy? And what? Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is it at? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. There we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. There you are, Hob. All right. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Everybody's dead. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 24. Fuck. Run faster. 23. Come on. 22. Come on, baby. Here's where we split up. And over my share of the gold. And I'll be on my way. Should I hand him his share of gold? He did get me out after all. I'll hand him his share of gold. And a deal was a deal. Pleasure doing business with you. No, I'm I down to, to 11. Your combat multiplier get higher before I swing a jar. All right, kid, let's go. So I'd never. You ready? Let's go. The cottage is through here. Okay. It's just through here. I know it is. I've been here before. Wait, you're not going to leave me with her, are you? You think the nymph was bad. My granny is worse. Whose idea did you think it was to go into those caves in the first place? Well, I'm not standing for it much longer. First chance I'll get, I'm out of here. I'll have to pick up a few things first, though. And I suppose you want your reward. Don't tell her what I said, though. Come on. Okay, well, I won't tell her what you said. We made it. Go and see if Granny's there. She's right there. Dude, do you not do you not see her? She's right there in front of your face. Come on, man. Oh, thank you for returning my grandson hero. James, come here and give your granny a hug. Look at that hob head. We did the protection. We did it naked. So we got an extra 2,690 gold, an extra 826 renown, and a whole butt ton of XP. However, hey, uh -oh. what's going on? What I is going on? I demand you stop right now. 
I have chores for you. Why are you running away? Oh, come back! Where are you going, buddy? Go to Oakvale. It's a pretty good place. I mean, unless it gets raided by bandits and burned down and your parents die. Oh, you seem to forget about your grandson leaving pretty quickly. Okay, well, here's the deal. I need to try that again because I want what is in that demon door. This episode's gone on pretty far already. But I'm going to break down and do what I said I wasn't going to do. Because that's how wishy-washy I can be sometimes. What's up, buddy? And I'm going to head back to the Heroes Guild. And I'm going to invest in some magic. That's right. I'm going to invest in some magic. I know. I feel dirty saying it. Because I wanted this character to be pure. But hey, our sister said... We have a bloodline. I must honor it. So, Heroes Guild, here we come. Now, at the Heroes Guild, of course, I can rush over here to the XP booth. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, I could buy some physique. And I could buy some health. Actually, let's see. Yes, I get it. Can I double buy physique? Nope. I can buy some health, though. Okay. And we can buy some speed. Ooh, we're going to get fast at fighting. Everybody was a kung fu fighting. There was a fast as lightning. Physical shield, baby. I think physical shield is all that we can do. Yep. Okay. Physical shield is what we got. But you're a wizard, hero. Is that a play on, uh... You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> okay, so we finally got some magical powers we can use. Uh, I must go into... First of all, my equipment. Oops. No! Wrong button. There we go. I must go into my equipment, change my outfit overall. I'll go with the chainmail suit as much as I have. And then we'll back up. Yeah, and I think I'll use a bandana hat for now, because that's what I got. Um, and a shirt. I think I'll use a villager shirt, because that's also what I have. Crap! Wrong button again. All right. Here we go. Let's try this one more damn time. If I go over to skills, go over to here, and do the physical shield, I can assign it. Uh, what do I want the physical shield to be? Right now it says it's to the left. Yeah, I'll keep it there, I guess. That'll be fine for me. I am going to head back to the Hob Cave. I'm going to go into the center of it. And I'm going to try to fight my way out and hopefully get this. Otherwise, I'm going to be pissed. That I don't get the, you know, the 14 uh, combat multiplier and stuff. What do you want? It'll be a fight to the death in the arena. Yeah, I know. The arena will be a fight to the death. Traitor Massacre is still on the table. I'm going back to the Hob Cave. And I originally went to the wrong place. I went to the Witchwood Colus Gate. Why is there Witchwood? Darkwood. Oh, shit. Shit. All right. See, if you take a look, this is what it does. Uh, basically, it blocks people from hitting me. Uh, at this rate, since I don't know how many potions I have, I'm going to have to turn it on and off. But... The magical power. Alright, boys. You're welcome. Oh, sorry one of your mates died. I'm, I'm glad you don't look like you're too sad about it. What do you got? Would you like to trade? Yes. Oh, he's got hairstyles. The younger style. The attractiveness is minus 50. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Could do a tramp. Oh, I should do a tramp beard. <laughs> Clean shave. 
The working mustache. The trader style mustache. Your power mustache. Power mustache looks silly. No wonder you've been nominated for the arena. Wonderful. You did the impossible. You did the impossible? Okay. Once again, I'm gonna go here through to Great Wood Caves. And then from Great Wood Caves, I can go. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't know you were here. What are you doing here? All right, fine, die. And I was at 10 already just from fighting him. Okay, well, from here, I gotta go into the Hob Cave entrance. However, seeing that it is almost daylight and I need some willpower potions <laughs> because I'm a sellout. So I'm going to head on to a couple of the different communities and try to find Lots of willpower potion. Will will potion. I don't even know. Let's just go. Have a good day. All right, I will. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Barrowstone just because I can be. No, actually, uh, I think if I remember correctly, I have some rent to collect up in here. And then after that, uh, we can buy some will potions from the general store if I want it. Oh, I haven't bought this house yet? All right, well, we're buying that house. We're not gonna rent it out yet. I'm going to upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. We're gonna go in here and I think, yeah, there's one. We can add an item here for our trophies. Uh, we got a golden fish, we'll add the golden fish since we caught it between here and, stop zooming in. Since we caught it between here and Oakville, we'll add it there. And then upstairs, I thought there was another one here somewhere. But apparently not. Where is there only one? Is there a... There's only one of those. All right. Well, and in that case, we're gonna do it this way. We're going to include the Wasp Queen's head because we got that one between here and the Heroes Guild and Oakvale, and so that seems pretty relevant. And then we'll close that up not close it up we'll rent it out so we can get some gold from it oh hey what are you up to buddy hey buddy well well look who it is come to play with the other children have you shame whisper has such a soft spot for you she should have taught you a lesson in orchard farm but she'll learn i only hope you both end up in the arena one day then we'll see who the greater hero is but I've wasted enough time talking. The guild master needs me back at the guild. He can't entrust important quests to novices like you. You know, you're kind of an arrogant dick. What's up, kids? How you doing? Oh, sorry, I'm gonna eat this apple in front of you. I hope you're not like, you know, in a financial situation where you're too poor to actually own an apple. Um, hey, where's the teacher? Okay, well, one of the things you can do to get positive uh, alignment is to sit there and give the teacher the books that you have, which is kind of fun to do sometimes. There he is. He's running. What have I got here? Sneer and stuff? <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah, I'll flirt with you, baby. Come here. Hey. Hey, you come here. Hey. Hey. All right, that's enough flirting. Ooh, she started to fall in love with me, so her highlight changed. The shops are open, though, which is what the guy announced. This person here is a... Oh, I can't sell that to... God dang it. 
Okay, fine. No, not wrong button again. Uh, let's see, ebony longbow. <gasps> let's buy the ebony longbow. And then we'll sell him. No, wrong button. There we go. We'll sell him the oak crossbow because I hate the crossbows so much. Please note that weaponry is not allowed in this town. Your new weapon will be held for you until you leave. Okay. You killed the cool. legendary white Valverine. The yep. arena is the place for you. Hell yeah, it is, bitch. Hell yeah. All right. Well, shut up. Don't call me that. Only my mom can call me that. Gosh. What the hell was I doing? Well, for one thing, I'm looking for chainmail stuff. What, can I what do you got, me? Mr. Taylor? Please to serve you. Chew the tailor. All right, he's got a chainmail helmet. We're going to buy that. That's going to help. No, I don't want to sell. I keep hitting the wrong buttons today. I am so sorry. Uh, chainmail helmet. Can we get a chainmail shirt? <gasps> chainmail shirt. Do we have a no full-on chainmail outfit now? You did the impossible, Your Highness. I'm I'm Highness. I mean, I'm a little buzzed, but I'm not high. I mean, can you see it? Are my eyes red? I mean, why didn't you tell me? Oh no, you mean Highness like that? Okay. Chicken well, I'm not a king, them. dude. I just. You chase chickens. I just happen to be good at... Do I chase chickens? Why does everybody come back to me chasing chickens? That's just not nice. It's just not fair. All right, villager outfit. <laughs> Let me bring it back to reality. All right, chainmail suit. Boom. Look at that. Yes. Chainmail suit. We got Derek, the market keeper. A nice day. What's up, Derek? I, think we can do a special offer for I need some will potions, my friend. Because I'm an idiot and I changed my mind on a whole bunch of things a whole bunch of times. And now, for some reason, I think I want to fight. Yeah, yeah, that's the arena for me. But I think I want to fight with magic too. Uh, I thought, I thought, you know, I didn't want to, and then I thought I did, and now, now I am. Okay, now we can. Oh, there it is. You can take a look here. I do own the house in Oakvale, so therefore it put below the sign that says Oakvale, it put together a symbol for me, letting me know that uh, I can come along here and collect a bunch of gold from my house that I rent out. Where is it? There it is. 860 for each of those bags. So what's 860 times three? I don't know. I'm not a mathematician, but uh, I'll pop it up on the screen here because I'll probably do it when I'm in editing. There is a guy back here we can talk to real quick. You. Yes, you. Now, forewarning, this is one of those scenes, one of those missions. Hey, nice, over nice. Here. Shut up. Nice to see you guys are all synchronized. But this is one of those missions where. I really want to side with the opposite person. Hey, over here. Shut up. But if I side with them, then I get negative alignment. So I have to side with these guards. Anyways, here we go. Ah, it's you, chicken chaser. Shut Don't up. Help of a hero. Of course, I was hoping for someone like Thunder to come along, but I suppose you might be up to the task. Thunder can suck You've been my. We've tracking a well-known assassin. We found out he's hiding out around Twinblade's tent in the bandit camp. Of course, we'd never be able to get in. But it shouldn't be a problem for a resourceful hero such as yourself, huh? This is a matter of vengeance as much as of justice. That scumbag killed my brother. There's 1,000 gold waiting for you if you do the job. Splendid. You're doing us and society a great service. You'll receive your payment after you've killed him. If you make it back alive. Alright, well, that's going to have to wait for another day. We'll put that one there in our back pocket. I don't understand, actually, in this game right now, the way it works with Fable Anniversary Edition. Which, Could I um... Again, do you think? Oh, hey, yeah. Hold on, hold on. 
Hey. You're not bad looking, you know. Yeah, you're damn right I'm not bad looking. Uh, sorry I get distracted from all the uh, attraction that's uh, coming my way again. But, uh, um, the, the icon on the map that is blinking is usually the quote-unquote current quest, which I don't understand in this case because that's not the one I just Enjoy did. And actually, if I go to the menu and I go to quests, there's the Hidden Booty Hunt, the Chapel of Scorm, the Chicken Kicking Competition, the Trader Rescue, the Sword in the Stone, the Arena, the Murder with a Twist. Um, oh, shit, that is the next one I got to do. Murder with a Twist. Okay, well, not to distract myself too much, Wonderful. I first, of course, need to go and, uh, no, not from him. Well, wait, wait, he might, he might be able to buy some things I don't want anymore. We think we can do a special offer oh, for I you, I think sir. we can do a special offer for you there, sir. He likes the augmentations, which is something that I like too. So, uh, we'll go to the weapons. No, I want to tell you this. Son of a bitch. Uh, augmentations. Would they be under the key thingy? I can sell you one flame augmentation. That was for fourteen fifty. That's pretty nice. Uh, that's it? That's all I have? A couple flame augmentations? Alright, whatever. We'll sell you the next one, too. Give me all that money. <laughs> Pierretta's hat. No, did I just buy a flame augmentation? I think I just bought a flame augmentation from him. Son of a... That would not be the first time that I've done that. Honestly, in this game, that would not be the first time that I've gone and done that. Uh, I don't understand. All right, yeah, I did. Cool. Bye. Son of a bitch. Did I sell it to him or did I... I don't know. I'm going to have to look back at the video. I thought I sold it to him, but... Then again, I thought maybe I bought it from him and all that sir. stuff. You have 43 will potions. Damn, that's a lot. All right, I'm going to buy 10 and 10. So now, I'm going to take a look at my inventory. Yeah, where's my inventory? Equipment. Over here to potions and stuff. Uh, will potion. We got 29. That's pretty nice. It's right along with our 31 health potions. So we should be sitting pretty well. We got Will Master's Elixir. Boost the powers of the arcane. Expanding your capacity to store energy. A most valuable find for any Will user. Uh, I don't know what that'll do. I'll take it right before we get into that mission again. Because once again, the big thing I want to do is defeat that Hob Cave and get into that... Uh, I so hope I can do it. Otherwise, I got to go all the way back. And I got to try to do that Hob Cave mission again. And that's going to be a nightmare. But I want to defeat the Hob Cave. And, uh, yeah, that. Get the uh, demon door open. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Uh, where would I go? Greatwood, call the skate. Greatwood, call the skate. Sounds good. There we go. All right. Oh, wait. <laughs> I stepped off the podium the wrong way. Hey, you. How you doing? You're dead. Bye. Bye. Send me a postcard. Oh, hey, another one. Another customer. Did it, dude. Dude. Another one. Vice dust. Oh, I can't like stab him while he's on the ground with this axe. Apparently. Oh, he's dead, dead. I thought he was going to get back up. Apparently he's dead, dead. Uh, when you're not using a spell... Alright, cool. Yeah, you are lucky. When you're not using a spell, it automatically regenerates your willpower. So you don't have to use one all the time. You can just kind of like hang out, you know. Like, do like this. Like, spin in circles. You can do some like, you know, like... Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha uh, That kind of stuff, you know. Ha ha ha. And you can just kind of hang out. Um, and then, yeah, go to Greatwood Caves. 
Okay, so once again, here we go. I activate that. Ow, I got hit in the fucking face right away. That's not cool. Not cool. I gotta fight him. He tries to bash me. Doesn't work. I hit him again. Go for it again. Boom, he's dead. I got 11. Come on now, hurry up. I want your XP. There we go. I got 11. I head down into the cave. I'm at nine, so it's probably gonna be like, what, three? Five, all right, I got five. Big thing is I gotta sit here and fight these guys first because they pissed me off the most. All right, so I fight them. Dude, use the potion. No. All right. I defeated them. I'm going to go in here. So I got 11. I don't even think I need to go in here, but I went in here anyways. So I'm down to seven. This is so going to piss me off if I got to redo that whole mission with the bandit and the kid in the cave. Because I don't even know like where my save game was at. If I can get back to that, that's the thing I should have done. I should have paid attention to. God dang it, I should have paid attention to that. Okay, whatever. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try. I don't know where these are coming from. gonna head down here see if I can do it with just defeating this room alone and then going back out and defeating the next room and if I can't well then I'm gonna have to like off camera I'm gonna have to like defeat that other room again that other mission again, I should say. Oh, come on. Stop it. I hate that. Oh. Why would you make flourish and run the same thing? All right, I'm at 12, 13. Not even concerned with, like, the XP boost from actually killing all these things right now. Stop it. Not concerned with the gold. Oh god, I missed. Down to 16. I so hope there's a troll here at the end. I hope there's a troll when I get outside. You see why I need to gra needed to grab a whole bunch of them, right? Run, 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 run. I'm at 20. Oh, no. Get there. 19. Shit. Please be a troll. 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 Be a troll. Yes. Run, 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 run. Yes! Oh, yes. You Woo! are the man. Get your ass through here. Hell yeah, bitch, because this axe I have is pretty amazing. Just wait until you see. Damn, I'm excited. Wow, that was close. Oh, I'm glad I gave up on my idea to just be a straight up warrior. Let me eat this apple, just kind of hang out and bask in the glory that is this treasure chest right before me. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this thing is fucking amazing. 
Let's take a look. All right, the Cutlass Blue Tain. Info. Though cutlasses were the weapon of choice for the old shipmasters around Hook Coast, Blue Tain was part of a legendary treasure and was never used in combat. Its hunger for blood is palpable. So it's got an extra 45 damage to the weapon that I already have. Plus, lightning augmentation. Plus, I think. I think. If I really wanted to. Nope. Never mind. I lied. Apparently, it just has the, uh, the, um, uh, uh, yeah. The extra 45. The extra 45 damage. For some reason on this, uh, in, in this one, you can't go beyond the, uh, you can't go beyond the water. Weird. So weird. And there's those little weird stones popped up all over the place. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think for this episode, that's good enough. I'm done doing what I needed to do today. We got ourselves the Cutlass Blue Stone, which is freaking awesome and is exactly what I've wanted this whole time. It's just I had to give up a little bit on some of my um, stances in order to get it. Because now, as our stats go, I don't know what we're considered. What are we considered? Where does it say our hero? Well-known warrior. We're still a well-known warrior. We got our alignment is a plus 60. Our attractiveness is 100, so we're sexy as fuck. Our scariness is 100, too, so we're a little bit that way. But uh, we've been playing for seven hours together. 54 minutes, almost eight hours, and we're still called Chicken Chaser. In the next episode, uh, let me take a look at my quests here. Um, I will probably do the Trader Rescue, and if time allows, I will hit up the Murder with a Twist quest. The one after that, the one that everybody's going to be waiting for, I know, will probably be the arena. So stick around. This here chicken chase, I believe, as this troll pops out of the woods. Out of the woods. I meant out of the ground. As this troll pops out of the ground. As a matter of fact, let's go back. I know. So many transitions right there, right? Let's bash him. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, there it is. That is how good this weapon is. Just in no time at all, you bash the hell out of that troll. So, uh, I don't know what's beyond there. But anyways, thank you, love you. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, I don't know you at all. But uh, you're watching my videos and that's pretty great. And I appreciate it. Uh, I know I don't have a lot of followers. You know, if you could like and subscribe and all that jazz like other people do, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know about that bell notification. I've never actually hit it myself, even though I've been on YouTube for like seven freaking years. Uh, or at least that's when I've created an account more than, you know, a long time ago, whatever. <sighs> long story short, I appreciate your view. If you like my content, make a comment. Let me know how you feel. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Have yourselves a great day, and, uh... <laughs> well, thanks, Payday2, for interrupting my fucking video. I'm pretty damn sure that I don't even have Payday2 installed anymore. I haven't played that game since... Who knows when.